morning, 25 years, morning, 10 minutes here on more 94. You are shooting big elves in the building. We are here at City 2000. Enjoying the vibes. That was Jersey Drake right now with What's Next. And I'm going to tell you all what's next. It's time for us to haul at Roomy Roomy Room, the player from the MLA representing the Sideline Sports ENT, man. What's good, Roomy? What's good? Hey, don't put a boy in my big elf. Good morning, Bahamas. This is Sideline Sports and Entertainment Bahamas. Turn the stories from the sidelines and the headlines here only on More 94.9 FM. Thank you, everybody, for joining us on this lovely Tuesday morning. Big guy, we go hop straight into our sweater report. We got some news from the local side. I actually got to say congratulations to one of our up and coming basketball student athletes, Cheval Butters. He's actually picked up his second NCAA division offer. Um, and hopefully, well, um, again, Texas, Rio, Grand Valley. Vaqueros has been the latest offer. And um, yeah, hopefully we'll have another Bahamian student athlete um in the in the collegiate basketball ranks. Uh -huh. You know, you know, it's a great feeling when you get multiple yeah. offers, man. Like when you feel as though you have <laughs> options in life. Like, and no, you can't tell me you don't feel extra yeah. special when you know you're gonna be able to do what you love and multiple people want you to do it with them. Like that's yeah. just a good feeling, man. So shout out to all the college athletes who had the, that opportunity, you know what I mean? To have multiple officers to sit down mm -hmm. and weigh them, figure out yeah. which which uh, city works best for them, you know, yeah. like whether mm -hmm. they want to be in the cold, whether they want to be someplace warm, whether they want to be a, a fast running city or someplace yeah. slow pace. Like you have options, man. Shout out to that student athlete and to all others who are in the same position, man. Shout out to you all, all right? And not yeah. only student athletes, but we get to kids who get scholarships as well for academics mm -hmm. and other reasons. When you have opportunities and yeah. options, out of opportunities, man, you deserve to be praised, man. So shout out to you all, all right? Yeah, man. As, as a matter of fact, man, again, I'm glad you actually mentioned that. Out of my one of my biggest things, um, you know, even when I whenever I do get the opportunity to um share with um some of these young folks, these kids, hey, that's the greatest to me. That's the biggest thing right there, man. You have that, just like you said, you have the opportunities to actually, you know, make yourself better. So again, hey, put in that work, and it happens, man. Um, also, you got to say congratulations out to Divine Charlton. She qualified for the Olympics. Um, you know, um, actually, she had to miss out on the previous Olympics due to a back injury. But um, yeah, man, glad to see her. Uh, she's been ripping up the track this this season. And um, yeah, man, looking forward to seeing her compete in this year's Olympics. So again, congratulations out to Divine Charlton on that accomplishment. Now moving on to some international sports. Um, we got some news from the NFL. Um, I don't know, man. The football news for the for the past few days or the past week has not been encouraging or you know too good at all but um yeah the former kansas city chiefs assistant Britt reed um he's actually the son of andy coach andy reed uh you know following their championship or their super bowl win um or actually i should say yeah i think it was last year following their super bowl win he was actually you know, charged with the DUI, caused a car crash, or I shouldn't say caused, or was involved in a car crash. Um, unfortunately, a child was involved, and that child will be suffering lifelong brain injuries and may never wow. ever talk again. So, um, of course, charges have been filed against, against him. Um, and, of course, the prosecutors, I mean, um, hey, I, I can't blame them. They are looking to push for the full for the maximum penalty, which I think it can be up to seven years imprisonment. But um yeah, we'll we'll monitor that man and see what happens there. Um again a tragedy, you know, all around. Uh also some other news from the NFL. This one, man, I'm so sad to see it, but um I think this is definitely a testament of the post Brady era. And I've got to say congratulations. <laughs> out to Julian Edelman, man. He announced his retirement yesterday. So he came into camp and actually failed his physical and was cut. So I, I, I actually I actually like the way it happened though. I, mm -hmm. I like the fact that they cut him before the official retirement because now that puts him in a place to get the injury protection benefit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like yeah. that like it's almost like they make sure that he's gonna still collect this pension type yeah. situation. Uh, now mind you, he's made a lot of money in the NFL over yeah. the last few years, but yeah, still even that uh, extra money is still a good thing. So I, I, I like the way they did it, even though there was a whole lot of uproar when the uh, information first broke that he would be uh let go of right. the yeah. team. Like I was like, oh yeah. uh, you know, but then yeah. as you saw it play out, you realized okay, they did handle this in yeah. a pretty good way, man. And his retirement video. I'll tell you the truth. I got chills, bro. I got yeah, chills, man. Yeah. I watched it now. I was like, huh, another one go. 
fun. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like I had the era for real, man. We shout out to Julian Edelman. He meant yeah, a lot man. to the Patriots organization, to the NFL as a whole. You know, his size and what he was able to do as a receiver just made a lot yeah. of people feel as though, like, yo, like anyone can do it. And then that, 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 the fact that he had that quarterback ability, too, as well, with that, that amazing yeah. play that we'll never forget <laughs> so, uh, between yeah. him and Brady and. You know, it's just, it just yeah. was a part of a lot of history. Yeah, so man. Shout out for to sure. Julian Edelman, man. For sure. As a matter of fact, Tom Brady gave a big shout out to me. It's like, hey, you know, whenever he was down and out, you know, Julian Edelman was there to pick him up. So, um, yeah, again, it shows with their relationship. Question for you. Do you think he's a first round, for a first ballot um, uh, Hall of Famer? Uh, that's a good question. Um Yo, I would, I would put, I, me personally, I would put, I would put Edelman over Rice. You know what I mean? Uh, Whoa. Yeah, bro. Like Edelman, oh. Edelman had that, Edelman Whoa. had that year, bro. So if, if Rice could do it, then how could Edelman not be a first round all of him? Man, anyway, okay, that's, we can come back to that. So, we will, we will, we will. Hey, that's a lot of fun. I've got some news from the NBA as well. Um, man, you know what? Before I even go into the scoreboard, shouts out to Steph Curry, man. Yo, dude, um, yeah, he had no business last night. As a matter of fact, the Warriors took on the Nuggets. Um, the Warriors won that game 160 and the 107, but Steph Curry putting up 53 points in that game, and he actually moved into first place as the Golden State Warriors all-time leading scorer. And you know who was who was previously in first place? Will Wilt. Chamberlain. Yeah. He's got it, Will. Now, you yeah. know what's crazy about that? Like, you, if you watch the game, you actually saw when Curry yeah. realized he did it. I don't know, like, right before the bench, they told him, like, well, yeah. you're only, like, a point, like, two points away or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's like he did the whole prayer thing up, you know what I mean, and yeah. went to the game. So, yeah, shout out to, shout out to Steph Curry, man. Definitely yeah. one of the league's best. And I like the fact that he's still on the same team that he drafted to. I hope that he ends his career yeah. in uh, Golden State just so that he can have that attached to him. Like, you know what? I yep. played one, you know, one team my my entire time, and you know, it's just a good feeling. Just like Kobe, like people yeah. respect you. You'll be you'll be honored forever and ever and ever yes. if you lead yeah. the league in that way, man. So yeah. I don't yeah. know. Hopefully, he's thinking that along that line as well and does the same thing. Yeah, man, I'm sure. Um, just some of the other scores quickly. You got the Knicks over the Lakers last night, 111 to 96. The Seven Sixers over the Mavericks, 113 to 95. The Spurs beat the Magic last night, 120 to 97. Final score there. The Grizzlies over the Bulls, 101 to 90. The Pelicans, yeah, they beat up on the Kings last night, 117 to 110. Of course, Buddy wasn't there, but um, man, um, De'Aaron Fox last night, man, 43 points. I don't know, dudes doing it, man. Um, also, uh, some of the other scores, Wizards over the Jazz, 125 to 121. Um, and uh, again, the other score was the, or the other game was the Rockets and the Suns. The Suns pulling out that win, 126 to 120. As a matter of fact, um, checking on our boy DeAndre Ayton. He finished up last night with 18 points, uh, eight rebounds, three steals, and a block in that game, man. So um, yeah, they're continuing to look really good. The, uh, the Nets and of course, the Nets and the Timberwolves game was postponed due to the yeah due to the altercations and the sad news again that's coming out of um, out of Minnesota. But um, again, hopefully, uh, yeah, we'll see that game take place again. And um, yeah, hopefully, some some peace and some yeah. calm comes over the city in Minnesota, man. Again, just a terrible some terrible stuff that went on yesterday. Yeah. But um yeah man. And also shouts out to Jazz man. Jazz had a double yesterday. Um they beat the Braves. So yeah man. Looks as though um Jazz is looking good this season man. I'm proud I'm really proud of him um doing his thing man. But um yeah awesome. as far as sports this morning, definitely rap. All on you man big bro. All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all know what it is. That's our sideline sport report. Jerome representing, and of course, I'm going to be in the company straight through until 10 o'clock, so we're not done as yet. I want to blaze off some more of the best music on the planet for you. Like this one, you hear her playing in the background just now, man. As Mooski is a track star. She's a runner. She's a... Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. Good morning.